Today we'll demonstrate how to do a screen capture on the DJI Remote Control Pro, or as DJI likes to call it, the RC Pro. In this session, first we'll capture the screen of the RC Pro as a still image. Next we'll capture it as a video recording. We'll show where to go to view both on the RC Pro, and finally, how to transfer the files from the RC Pro to your computer. Real quick before we get started, if you find these videos useful, click the subscribe button in the lower right. It lets us know that we're being helpful. And if you have suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Now, let's get started. With the RC Pro powered on, go to the screen you'd like to capture. Then, swipe down from the top of the screen to open the Quick Settings menu. This usually takes two swipes. After the first one, you'll see a bar at the bottom, and at the top, it'll show you how much battery is available. Now, the second swipe from the top brings up the Quick Settings menu. From here, you can do a lot of things, including both a screen snapshot as well as a screen recording. First, let's take a still image of the screen underneath this menu. Simply tap the screenshot icon. You'll hear a sound, and the screen that was captured will be displayed briefly. Now let's do a screen recording. A screen recording is a video that captures everything that is displayed on the RC Pro screen from the moment you start recording to the moment you end the recording. To do a screen recording, you start exactly the way we did with a screenshot. First, you go to the screen where you'd like to start your recording. Again, swipe down twice to get to the Quick Settings menu, and this time, tap on the Screen Recording icon. From this point on, everything you do is captured in the recording. That could be changing settings on the menu, configurations, and yes, flying the drone. Once you're done, to stop the screen recording, swipe down again to get back to the Quick Settings menu. But before we stop the recording, notice that on the left side of the screen, you can see that a recording is in progress and how much time has elapsed. Here you can stop, pause, or cancel the recording. You can also stop the recording by tapping the screen recording icon again. There are a couple places you can go to review the captures you've just taken. First, you can return to the Quick Settings menu. You'll find recently captured images and videos. Simply tap on the image or video to view it. However, after viewing them once, they'll disappear from this location. You can always go to the gallery, which is located on the home page of the RC Pro. If you're in the DJI Fly app, you'll need to back out of it first to get to the home page. To back out, push the back button in the upper left hand side of the RC Pro. From the home page, tap the gallery icon. Here you'll see all of your captures in the timeline view. In this case, we have one photo and two videos. Just tap the one you wish to view. This is the view screen, which has a couple of modes. When it first opens, it's in the options mode. If you wait a second, the options will disappear and you'll just be in the view mode. Tapping the screen toggles between both modes. If you're on a video, both the options and the view mode have a play icon. Tap the play icon to begin watching it. This is now the playback screen. The playback screen also has two modes. It starts out in the full screen mode. Tapping the screen toggles between this mode and the playback control mode. In the playback control mode, you can pause the video. Or if it's paused, you can play it again. You can also click anywhere on the progress bar to jump to that location in the video. Dragging on the progress bar will fast forward or rewind the video. By the way, whether you're in the playback control mode or full screen mode, you can tap on the screen and drag left to back up or to the right to fast forward. To copy files, you need to know where to locate them. At the time of this recording in December of 2021, the RC Pro defaults to recording and caching to internal memory. According to DJI supports, there currently is no way to change it to record onto the micro SD card at this time. I assume that'll change in a future firmware update, and when it does, I'll write an update in the description below. There are a couple ways to transfer the screen capture video and photo files to your computer. Since the files are on internal memory, you could use the Files app on the RC Pro to copy them to a micro SD card, and then use a card reader on your computer to copy them from the micro SD card to your computer's hard disk. First, make sure you have a card inserted in your RC Pro and open the Files app. You'll notice that when I open the Files app, mine defaulted to the internal drive. That's because the last time I used this app, 
That's where I was when I closed it. But if yours didn't, you can switch it by tapping the three horizontal bars in the upper left. Then select it from the drop-down menu. OK, now let's find the files that we wish to copy. Screen Snapshots, which are photos, can be found under the Pictures folder and then under the Screenshots subfolder. Screen Recordings, which are videos, can be found under the Movies folder. Select the file by tapping and holding it for just a second. You can select multiple files if you wish. Then tap the three horizontal dots in the upper right and select Copy To from the drop-down menu. Now let's navigate to the place where we wish to copy the files to. In this case, the external micro SD card. Tap the three horizontal bars in the upper left and switch it. Select the folder you want it in. I'll select Movies. And now tap the Copy button. Now the files are on the micro SD card. Before you remove the card from the RC Pro, I recommend that you either dismount it, or I prefer to simply power off the RC Pro. The second method to copy files over is by connecting the RC Pro to your computer directly via the USB ports. When you do, the RC Pro's internal drive and the external micro SD card will simply show up as an available disk drive on your computer. Then you can drag and drop the files wherever you want using your computer's file manager. Plug a USB-C cable into the RC Pro and the other end into your computer. Turn on the RC Pro. If your computer doesn't automatically recognize the new drives, you may need to change the setting on the RC Pro. Under Settings, select Connected Devices. Under Currently Connected, you should see USB, and you can see mine is set to File Transfer. Let's go ahead and tap on it. Under Use USB 4, select File Transfer if it's not already selected. If it is already selected and you're still having trouble seeing it on your computer, you might wish to deselect it by selecting No Data Transfer. Wait a second and then reselect File Transfer. Now, on your computer, you should see DJI RC Pro. In my case, I'm using a PC on Windows 10, but yours should look similar. Navigate like we did before. Mine are under Internal Storage. From there, you can drag and drop or copy and paste to wherever you want, and that should do it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already and you find these videos useful, please subscribe. Think of subscribing as applauding. You won't get spammed, but if you do want to get notified when we post something new, be sure to also click that bell below. If you'd like to learn more about Middle Loop, click Show More below, where you'll also find links to the tools we use in producing this video. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and happy flying.